Question 1. What is the trigger for PIM assert? A. When a router receives an IGMP query from another device. B. When a router receives a PIM hello from another device. C. When a router receives a BSM from a router with a better priority. D. When a router receives a multicast data packet on an outgoing interface. The correct answer is D. When a router receives a multicast data packet on an outgoing interface. Question 2. Which of the following events could trigger a PIM router sending an S. G. Join message. Choose 3. A. Receiver performing IGMP version 3. S. G. Report. B. Receiver performing enhanced IGMP version 2 signaling. C. Router performing PIM source path tree signaling. D. Router performing translation to convert a standard IGMP. G. Join into a PIM. S. G. Join. E. RP performing translation to convert a PIM. G. Join into a PIM. S. G. Join. The correct answer is B. Receiver performing enhanced IGMP version 2 signaling. Question 3. Refer to the following exhibit. Assuming all links have an equal metric in the IGP, where will the source path tree have been created if receiver 2 and receiver 3 have joined the multicast group but the source is not sending? A. Router GECA. B. Router FDBA. C. Router CA. D. There won't be a source path tree. The correct answer is D. There won't be a source path tree. Question 4. What issues have to be resolved to support the deployment of SSM? Choose 2. A. Allowing the source to select the multicast group address. B. Creating standards for directory services. C. Allowing the receiver to specify the source address. D. Modifying the IGMP messaging format to include the multicast source address. E. Modifying the PIM messaging format to include the multicast source address. The correct answer is C. D. Allowing the receiver to specify the source address. Modifying the IGMP messaging format to include the multicast source address. Question 5. When a router receives a multicast packet, which action will it perform first? A. The router will determine if it is the DR for that segment. B. The PIM source group database will be checked for the matching group. C. A PIM assert message will be sent to the RP. D. An RPF check will be performed on the packet. E. An IGMP join will be sent to the source. The correct answer is D. An RPF check will be performed on the packet. Question 6. Is a static RP configuration functional without an associated address group specification? A. Yes. B. No. The correct answer is B. No. Question 7. How often will a host issue IGMP host membership reports for group 224.0.0.1? A. Never. B. 30 seconds. C. 60 seconds. D. 120 seconds. E. 260 seconds. F. Whenever it receives a query. The correct answer is A. Never. Question 8. Which features were introduced in IGMP version 3? Choose 2. A. Leave group message. B. Report suppression was eliminated. C. IGMP snooping. D. TTL of 1 for IGMP messages. E. A modified membership report to include source address. The correct answer is B. E. Report suppression was eliminated. A modified membership report to include source address. Question 9. What is the primary function of the RP? A. It is responsible for sending register messages. B. It is responsible for distributing group mappings. C. It is the place where the source and receivers meet when establishing the initial MDT. D. It is responsible for providing the receiver with the source address. The correct answer is C. It is the place where the source and receivers meet when establishing the initial MDT. Question 10. With IGMP snooping enabled, how does a LAN switch identify ports with routers attached? A. The same way as it identifies receivers. B. From the IGMP host membership reports received. C. From the default gateway address of unicast frames. D. From the IGMP queries received. E. The switch issues a message on all ports to which only routers respond. The correct answer is D. From the IGMP queries received. Question 11. The default version of IGMP on the Alcatel Lucent 7750SR is A. Configured manually. B. Version 1. C. Version 2. D. Version 3. The correct answer is D. Version 3. Question 12. What is the multicast MAC address for IPv6 multicast address FF1E? 1234 to 5678. A. 
33 colon 33 colon 12 colon 34 colon 56 colon 78. B, 33 colon 33 colon FF colon 34 colon 56 colon 78. C, 33 colon 33 colon FE colon 34 colon 56 colon 78. D, 33 colon 33 colon FF FE colon 56 colon 78. The correct answer is A. 33 colon 33 colon 12 colon 34 colon 56 colon 78. Question 13. Refer to the exhibit. What will happen if host 2 issues an IGMP report to join a group? A. Both router A and router B will get this IGMP report and router B will propagate a PIM join towards the core network. B. Both router A and router B will get this IGMP report and both of them will propagate a PIM join towards the core network. C. Only router A will get this IGMP report and router A will propagate a PIM join towards the core network. D. Only router A will get this IGMP report and as router A is not PIM DR. So no further action. The correct answer is A. Both router A and router B will get this IGMP report and router B will propagate a PIM join towards the core network. Question 14. What does the term incongruent unicast and multicast routing refer to? Choose the best answer. A. This is another term for asymmetric routing. B. This refers to having different routing policies or routing topologies for unicast and multicast networks. C. This refers to the case when the base routing table imports routes from two different protocols. D. This refers to the case when unicast and multicast routing tables contain the same route entries. The correct answer is B. This refers to having different routing policies or routing topologies for unicast and multicast networks. Question 15. If a router receives a packet address to a broadcast destination, it will A. Drop the packet by default. B. Forward the packet by default. C. Flood the packet to all ports except the receiving port. D. Flood the packet to all ports including the receiving port. The correct answer is A. Drop the packet by default. Question 16. Is the RP mandatory in an ASM network? A. Yes. B. No. C. Depends on whether there is an elected BSR. With an elected BSR, RP is not mandatory. Without an elected BSR, RP is mandatory. D. In IP4, RP is mandatory for ASM. In IP6, it is not. The correct answer is A. Yes. Question 17. Which of the following is a characteristic of a packet with a destination address in the local network control block address range? A. A packet with this address is always forwarded throughout the multicast routing domain but never forwarded outside the multicast routing domain. B. A packet with this address can only be processed by a router. C. A packet with this address is never forwarded beyond the local link unless the TTL is greater than 1. D. A packet with this address is never forwarded beyond the local link regardless of the TTL. The correct answer is D. A packet with this address is never forwarded beyond the local link regardless of the TTL. Question 18. What will be the immediate action of the last hop router on receipt of an IGMP version 2 leave message? A. It will send a PIM, G, prune to the RP. B. It will send a PIM, S, G, prune to the source. C. It will send a PIM, G, prune to the RP and a PIM, S, G, prune to the source. D. It will issue an IGMP group specific query. E. It will issue an IGMP general query. The correct answer is D. It will issue an IGMP group specific query. Question 19. Which of the following statements about MLD snooping is false? A. MLD snooping enables switches to forward multicast data to specific hosts that want to receive the data. B. MLD snooping can coexist with IGMP snooping in the same VPLS service. C. Once MLD snooping is enabled, the switch can snoop both MLD v1 and MLD v2 messages. D. MLD snooping snoops MLD report and done messages, not query messages. The correct answer is D. MLD snooping snoops MLD report and done messages, not query messages. Question 20. How many responses should be received if IGMP version 2 is in use and a router sends a query to a specific multicast group that has six active receivers on the local broadcast domain? A. 1. B. 2. C. 6. D. 7. E. It will be random. The correct answer is A. 1. Question 21. What is the range of IP4 multicast addresses allocated for SSM? A. 239.0.0.08. B. 233.x.y.024. C. 
224.0.0.024. D. 232.0.0.08. The correct answer is D. 232.0.0.08. Question 22. Which of the following query messages are supported by IGMP version 3? Choose 3. A. Group specific query. B. Group membership query. C. Host query. D. Source specific query. E. Group and source specific query. The correct answer is A. B. E. Group specific query. Group membership query. Group and source specific query. Question 23. What signaling protocol is used by a multicast receiver? A. IGMP. B. PIM. C. Either PIM or IGMP. D. Both PIM and IGMP. The correct answer is A. IGMP. Question 24. Consider the following addresses. Which two should not be used in a multicast network at the same time? A. 224.192.12.35 and 238.64.12.35. B. 235.182.12.35 and 235.64.12.35. C. 226.172.12.35 and 238.42.12.35. D. 237.138.12.35 and 238.128.12.35. The correct answer is A. 224.192.12.35 and 238.64.12.35. Question 25. Which of the following regarding the IP4 multicast address format is true? A. The first three bits of the address are set to 110. B. A multicast address has a value between 223.0.0.0 and 239.255.255.255. C. A multicast address includes a subnet mask to indicate the network and host portion of the address. D. The first four bits of the address are set to 1110. The correct answer is D. The first four bits of the address are set to 1110. Question 26. Which of the following are not characteristics of the many-to-many -many model of multicast data delivery? Choose 2. A. Receivers are generally unknown by the source. B. Receivers are generally known by each other, since any receiver may be a source. C. It is well suited for applications in which the receivers provide feedback to each other and the source. D. All devices are potentially capable of generating multicast data. E. It is well suited for applications such as video on demand where each source sends a separate data stream to each of the many different receivers. The correct answer is A. E. Receivers are generally unknown by the source. It is well suited for applications such as video on demand, where each source sends a separate data stream to each of the many different receivers. Question 27. Which of the following regarding multicast reliability is true? A. TCP provides reliable transport for multicast traffic. B. UDP provides reliable transport for multicast traffic. C. Reliability may be added with a higher layer protocol such as RTP, real-time protocol. D. Multicast traffic does not need a reliable transport. The correct answer is C. Reliability may be added with a higher layer protocol such as RTP, real-time protocol. Question 28. Which MAC address does the IPF4 multicast address 239.231.42.11 translate to? A. 01005E663A6B. B. 01005E752A0B. C. 01005E672A0B. D. 00015EL2A6B. E. 00015E672A0B. F. 00015E762BCC. The correct answer is C. 01005E672A0B. Question 29. How often does a router issue IGMP host membership reports for group 224.0.0.2? A. Never. B. Every 30 seconds. C. Every 60 seconds. D. Every 120 seconds. E. Every 260 seconds. The correct answer is A. Never. Question 30. Click the exhibit. Which of the following describes the router that produced the output S hound in the exhibit? A. The router is the first hop router from the source. B. The router is the RP. C. The router is one router upstream on the shared path tree from the diverging router. D. The router is the last hop router from the source. The correct answer is A. The router is the first hop router from the source. Question 31. 
What message does the diverging router, router where the shared and source path trees diverge, generate to stop the multicast traffic arriving via the RP? A. PIM, G, join. B. IGMP, G, join. C. PIM, hello. D. PIM, G, RP bit prune. E. PIM, G, RP bit prune. The correct answer is D. PIM, G, RP bit prune. Question 32. How many responses are received when a router sends an IGMP version 2 query to a specific multicast group with six active receivers on the local broadcast domain? A. 1. B. 2. C. 6. D. 7. The correct answer is A. 1. Question 33. Which of the following regarding the source path tree is true? A. The RP is the root of the tree. B. It is represented by A. G. Entry. C. It is the initial forwarding path in ASM mode. D. It can be created without the RP. The correct answer is D. It can be created without the RP. Question 34. An IGMP version 3 receiver signals include mode report with an empty include list. What does this indicate? A. It received the query, but it does not wish to join any group. B. It is willing to receive traffic for the group from any source. C. This is the initial join message. A selection of source will follow. D. It indicates that it is leaving the group. The correct answer is D. It indicates that it is leaving the group. Question 35. Click the exhibit. Which of the following best describes the multicast LAN? A. There are no active sources in the LAN. B. There is one active source for 239.1.1.1, and two active sources for 239.2.2.2. C. The devices on SAP 1-1-4 and SDP 1000-500 to have issued joins for 239.1.1.1. D. There is a router on SDP 1000-500. to The correct answer is D. There is a router on SDP 1000-500. to Question 36. Which of the following functions is not required in a PIM SSM network? A. PIM routing protocol. B. SSM translation on the access multicast router. C. RP. D. IGMP snooping. E. IGMP querier. The correct answer is C. RP. Question 37. Click the exhibit. Which of the following regarding the displayed RP configuration is true? A. Two static RPs cannot be configured on the same device. B. 10.10.10.24 is the RP for 230.1.1.1, while 10.10.10.66 is the RP for 234.1.1.1. C. 10.10.10.24 is the RP for 234.1.1.1, while 10.10.10.66 is the RP for 230.1.1.1. D. Only one static RP can be configured with override. The correct answer is C. 10.10.10.24 is the RP for 234.1.1.1, while 10.10.10.66 is the RP for 230.1.1.1. Question 38. Which features are introduced in IGMP version 2? Choose 2. A. Leave group message. B. Report suppression is eliminated. C. IGMP snooping. D. TTL of 1 for IGMP messages. E. Formalized IGMP query or election. The correct answer is A. E. Leave group message. Formalized IGMP query or election. Question 39. Click the exhibit. From which router is the displayed output taken? A. Any router in the PIM multicast domain. B. Only from the candidate RP. C. Only from the candidate BSR. D. Only from the elected BSR. The correct answer is A. Any router in the PIM multicast domain. Question 40. Why should the Anycast RP address be a non-system address of a router? A. Alcatel Lucent 7750 SR configuration does not permit using the system address for an Anycast RP address. B. The system address of a router must be a unique address within the domain, while the Anycast address is configured on multiple routers within the domain. C. PIM will not be able to establish its signaling sessions if the Anycast address uses the system address. D. Best practice is to use the system address as the Anycast address for PIM. The correct answer is B. The system address of a router must be a unique address within the domain, while the Anycast address is configured on multiple routers within the domain. Question 41. Click the exhibit. The switch is not IGMP snooping slash proxy capable. 
What happens when host 2 issues an IGMP report to join a group? A. Both router A and router B get this IGMP report. Router B propagates a PIM join toward the core network. B. Both router A and router B get this IGMP report, and both propagate a PIM join toward the core network. C. Only router A gets this IGMP report and propagates a PIM join toward the core network. D. Only router A gets this IGMP report, but no further action is taken, as router A is not the PIM DR. The correct answer is A. Both router A and router B get this IGMP report. Router B propagates a PIM join toward the core network. Question 42. Does the interface whose address is used as the BSR candidate require PIM enablement? A. Yes, that interface must be PIM enabled. B. No, it is unnecessary to enable PIM on that interface. C. If it is a physical interface, that interface should be PIM enabled, otherwise it is unnecessary. D. If the RPF check is using the multicast routing table, that interface should be PIM enabled, otherwise it is unnecessary. The correct answer is A. Yes, that interface must be PIM enabled. Question 43. An Alcatel Lucent 7750 SR is unable to locate a multicast source address in the multicast routing table. However, the source address is available in the unicast routing table. Which statement best describes the default RPF check behavior of the Alcatel Lucent 7750 SR? A. The RPF check fails, as PIM relies exclusively on the multicast routing table by default. B. The RPF check fails, as it requires the source address be present in both the unicast and multicast routing tables. C. The RPF check succeeds, as PIM uses only the unicast routing table by default. D. The RPF check succeeds, as PIM uses the multicast routing table first, and then the unicast routing table by default. The correct answer is C. The RPF check succeeds, as PIM uses only the unicast routing table by default. Question 44. How do routers in the PIM domain learn the address of the elected BSR? A. The address information of the elected BSR is unicast to them in a bootstrap message. B. The address information of the elected BSR is flooded through the network in a bootstrap message. C. The address information of the elected BSR is pre-configured on all routers. D. The address information of the elected BSR is flooded through the network in a PIM hello message. The correct answer is B. The address information of the elected BSR is flooded through the network in a bootstrap message. Question 45. Click the exhibit. Based on the configuration, channels 239.1.1.1, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239.1.1.2, 239